And we are back with culture and etiquette expert Sharon Schweitzer, and she's talking about graduation season and how to keep things from turning awkward. All right, really quickly, we wanted to go over some monetary amounts um, for those graduation gifts. Yes. So if it's an acquaintance or a friend, it could be between 10 and $20. For children of family friends, the range may be 20 to $50. For relatives, like maybe a sibling or a niece or a nephew, 50 to $100. And for children, maybe it's a parent or a grandparent, that amount may be anywhere from 100 to $300. I have a follow-up question to that that just came in by text. It says, um, just saw the segment on how much you should give. $100 was suggested. Is that for a high school graduate, a college graduate, bachelor's, master's, doctorate? Does it matter? Okay. Those, that amount of 115 is the average that a U.S. consumer is going to spend this year in 2022 for a graduation gift for any graduation, high school, college, university, PhD, anything, associate's degree. That's just what the retail consumers in the U.S. have responded and said they plan to spend. Okay, gotcha. All right, so this is a question. What if you give something to a graduate, but last minute they don't graduate? Well, you know, our social graces prevent us from asking the graduate to return the gift. That would be a faux pas. However, the graduate probably would want to explain, I have had a delay, I'm not going to graduate till next semester or in two semesters. But the graduate, it would be incumbent upon the graduate to explain why they're not graduating. And if they don't have an explanation or don't feel comfortable offering an explanation, then they would the graduate would want to return the gift. Mm -hmm, but it's on the graduate. It's not like you can ask for the gift back. Hey, by the way, you didn't graduate, so hand me over the gift. Yeah, no. Culture and etiquette wise, no. Okay, this next one, how about this? How do you graciously tell someone that they're not invited either to the graduation ceremony itself or the party? For the ceremony, there are only a limited number of seats available for many many institutions that sometimes there's only four or six so many times the graduates will tell people i don't have any seats or tickets available we only have xyz we'd love for you to come to the party or the graduate will send out an invitation to a party if you're in a situation for the party which is your second example that can get a little trickier Sometimes people don't get along with others or they don't play nice or maybe there's some personality um, disagreements. And so maybe there's some people that you don't necessarily want to have at the graduate's party, but it really revolves around the graduate, just like at a wedding, it revolves around the bride and groom. So if the graduate doesn't want to have someone there or they prefer that someone not attend because it makes them uncomfortable then you just have to let that person know we really appreciate the fact that you're part of the family or that you're a good friend of ours but it'd be best you know if you don't attend if they know about the party if they don't know about the party then i wouldn't say me <laughs> All right. Good advice. I so appreciate that. Thank you so much for your wisdom and your expertise and your time. We so appreciate that. If any of you missed any of this, you know what? You may need to send this uh, whole interview to a family or a friend. I mean, they may need some guidance on this. It's going to be in the two wants to know section. <laughs>